book lovers, it is G-Squiz here and I'm here to bring you Seven on Sunday. If you have no idea, Seven on Sunday is a new project hosted by me. If you would like to participate with a group doing a Seven on Sunday topic for yourself, whether it's for your booktube channel or for your blog, I will put the Goodreads page down in the description where you will find all the topics. We'd be really excited to have you on board. This is the uh, first Seven on Sunday. We are kicking off strong with the seven characters that I would like to quarantine with. So I understand that Gatherings of Seven is probably not ideal when it comes to quarantine, but a full house sometimes is a better house, especially when you want to be able to socialize, but then you also want to be able to be entertained without having to go outside. And yes, at times, at moments, I have been struggling to be entertained. I mean, at the moment, I'm not gonna lie, I had amazing books to read, I've had amazing content to consume, but I still get bored and I want some good human interaction. And I'm an introvert, guys, like you wouldn't ever expect this from an introvert, but it's a struggle during quarantine. I just want some sort of human interaction that is entertaining, but also kind of insightful when it comes to conversation. I have decided to pick out these seven based off of their characteristics and how they would be able to gel with each other, but also how I would be able to interact with them. And I'm gonna explain some sort of purposes as to why they are there. I would definitely love to live in a house with all these guys and have to be forced into a quarantine with them because I have a feeling it's just never gonna be a dull moment. Without further ado, here are the seven characters I would like to quarantine with. I have a feeling that this character is gonna be somewhat popular in people's lists or he's gonna be a very unpopular opinion and people are not gonna choose him. See, I have a love-hate relationship with this character. I love him because he's an entertaining character and I love getting to read about him and I used to have a fictional crush on him and a lot of people used to also have fictional crushes on him but they have changed their mind. I'm not looking at him as a fictional crush. I am looking at him as someone who is very entertaining entertaining to be around, or at least very entertaining to read about. And I just think that he's just gonna be very entertaining, full stop. And that, my friends, is Will Herondale from the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. Oh, what can I say about Will Herondale? Well, he will be quoting books nonstop. That's a fact. I also stand a Hamlet-like character. I don't know why, I'm just obsessed with Hamlet and I mention this in pretty much every single video I mention Will Herondale. He very much reminds me of Hamlet. I think a lot of people, when the Infernal Devices first came out, they were on the defense squad for Will Herondale. Now they're on the against Will Herondale squad and that is understandable. I mean, when you push the blindness that love covers you with, you start to understand that Will Herondale probably not the best love interest ever. But if I were to be real, I think Cassandra Clare wrote an amazing character in Will Herondale. So yes, I would love to live in a house with Will Herondale just so that I could be entertained by him because he's just so entertaining. I don't care if he complains all day. I just want to be in the house with him because that's more interesting than watching the TV. I'm just going to say it right now. The next character I would like to quarantine with is one of my favorite characters from this particular series. But I've decided to pick this character because they'd be very entertaining to live with, especially if you have Will Herondale. Because I'm not going to lie, I would love to see them try to come at each other. That would be very entertaining. Guys, I would be living in a reality show without looking at a camera lens. That, my friends, is Manon Blackbeak from the Friend of Glass series. I've said this a million times before and I will say it again. She could punch me in the face and I would say thank you. I'm pretty sure Will Herondale would not say thank you. He would take that as a friend because he's the type of person who thinks that he's superior. So I would like someone to be able to put him in his place. And I think Manon Blackbeak is that person. But Manon Blackbeak is not purposefully in this house to fight. No. Put her in this house because she'd just be an amazing person to be around. I honestly do love reading about Manon Blackbeak and I would love to chat to her about her experiences if she doesn't come at me first. I, I just want to try to be Manon's friend. I just like Manon a lot. The next character that I am going to talk about is completely opposite from the two characters that I have just brought into my house. Because guys, we need balance in this house. But also, he is one of my fictional crushes. And honestly, it would make me so sad if, first of all, I lived a world without him. But second of all, if he never turned up in the series that he appears in. That, my friends, is Simon Lewis from the Shadowhunter Chronicles, predominantly the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. Simon Lewis, to me, needs to be protected at all times. How do I describe my love for Simon Lewis? Okay. He's just gentle, he's sweet, he's kind. He might be human, he might not be human. I'm not gonna spoil anything. He'd just be very interesting in the household, not just because of that factor, but also because he's a fun dude. He's a fun dude who I could easily talk about 
comics and manga too. I'm pretty sure he's into that stuff. It's been such a long time since I've read the Mortal Instruments series. I feel like I really do want to reread it all of a sudden. Even though I do not have it on my shelves, I need to go home and I need to read that series, you know? Simon Lewis is one of the loveliest characters I've ever encountered in fiction. During this dark and depressing time where we have to be on lockdown, he would actually very much be a light in the darkness, you know? You know? I'll be talking about the next character now. In my personal opinion, you need a character for sass. And that is exactly why Alucard Emery is joining the house. Yes, everyone, we 100% stand Alucard Emery in this house. You know what? Will and Manon have no choice but to stand Alucard Emery. I know for a fact Simon will comply, but I swear on God that Will and Manon will be evicted if they do not stand Alucard Emery. I mean, no, actually, they won't be evicted. I want them there anyway. But I gotta figure out another punishment without being slain by them. It's really hard to live in this quarantine house, you guys can tell. It has been such a long time since I've read this trilogy, but what I do remember is I love and I stand Alucard Emery hard. And if I am to be real, He's actually one of the main reasons why I continued on with this series. I wasn't the biggest fan of the first book, but then I continued on. I read the series, I was introduced to Alucard, and I was just like, dang, I love you. We're gonna be friends. And friends, we're gonna be in this house. I'm not gonna lie, with Will and Manon, I'm starting to think that this is gonna become some sort of cage fight, and Alucard is just gonna try to break it up and make a third group based on sass. I don't know. Why am I doing this to myself? I'm putting myself in a cage fight. Now, I think I mentioned earlier on this video, I really love having insightful conversations. I broke this list down into parts because there are some characters that obviously I would love there for entertainment. I would also like Simon there for moral support and I would like Alucard there because he's Alucard and he's cool, you know? Who on earth Fs with Alucard, really? But then the next two characters, I would really like them to be there because I would like to get to know them more but also I would like them to get to know each other more because their struggles are very similar to each other's but they're also very similar to mine and I would really Really love to have a good insightful conversation where I can gain wisdom from them obviously if we don't die first at the hands of Will or Manon. <laughs> the first character I'm gonna mention is the first character who I deeply resonated with in fiction. I'm pretty sure you guys know who that character is. Um, it's Tris Pryor from Divergent. I pretty much summed it up. I really want to stay and be quarantined in the same house as Tris Pryor so that we can bounce off of each other. So we can chat to each other about our struggles, about our trauma, about pretty much having to fight through hard times. Honestly, every single time I read Divergent, I really look up to Tris. And I know this is an unpopular opinion. I still get hate comments for liking Divergent. I mean, seriously, guys, just let me like what I like. But anyway, that's a side note. But Tris um, is still very much an inspiration to me. And I would really love to have a conversation with her or really just want to be in the same house just so that we can air out our frustrations and air out what has been going on or what has been on our minds lately just so that I could do that with Tris. I would really love that. And similarly to the next character that I'm just about to mention, I did mention to you guys that Tris was the first character I truly resonated with and she for some reason was the only character I fully resonated with for such a long time until this next character came along. That my friends is Sloane from Chosen Ones by the same author, Veronica Roth. It's okay. Bay's home. Sorry. That's okay. So sorry. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> so, I'm not too sure if you guys are aware or have been looking at my Twitter feed as of recently, but, um, I've read Chosen Ones around three times now during quarantine. In fact, three times in a row. And I'm considering doing it a fourth. I would choose Sloane Andrews as well as choosing Tris Pryor because their characters are not that similar. However, they've both struggled in some sort of way. And something that I've noticed as of recently, or at least I've come to the realization again, <laughs> because it's been years since I read Divergent for the very first time, and I've just read Chosen Ones for the very first time. Something that I really appreciate about Veronica Roth's writing is how she writes trauma, how she writes that in her characters, and how much I appreciate that. And personally, Triss is a character that I've always resonated with, but now, Sloane is that kind of character for me. Both of these characters and these books came into my life at the perfect time. Perfect time where I was going through something. And I know for a fact that Veronica does not get enough credit for the characters that she writes and the way that she writes them and also the way that she writes their experiences and how the characters are shaped by their experiences. I know for a fact that she does not get enough credit for that because obviously everybody hates the ending of Divergent and that's why they don't really like her books anymore. But something that I will firmly stand on is the fact 
that she is one of the greatest authors out there in my personal opinion okay this is my personal opinion because she's able to incorporate someone's experiences well into their characters and how that affects their behaviors their interactions their perspective and their voice that's what i appreciate about sloan and about tris and i would love them to first of all meet each other but second of all i would love to have conversations with them i would love to be able to do life with them because when i'm reading these books from veronica ruff i feel like i'm already doing life of them. Both Triss and Sloane are very real to me. I feel like rereading Chosen Ones for the fourth time, I feel like rereading Divergent for the billionth time. I honestly cannot believe that she's done it again. Um, Verona Grove has really pleased me again. But I would really love to live with these characters for that specific reason. I just want to be friends to both of them and I want both of them to be my friends. And the final character I have decided is gonna quarantine with the rest of the gang. This character is gonna be here to make sure that every single one of these characters are in line even though they're not really gonna listen to him. But also to make sure that they're healing people's wounds, you know? And looking after them. That my friends is Puck from Berserk. So Puck is a little pixie fairy who goes around with guts and just keeps on healing his wounds. He is one of those characters for comic relief purposes, but he's also there literally for relief purposes. Like he's got to heal people's wounds. Especially with Manon Blackbeak and Will Herondale and potentially Alucard Emery or maybe even potentially Sloan or Triss or I don't know about Simon. Simon might just be obedient, but you know, they might just all fight. So we need someone to tend to their wounds and to settle them down. I think Simon would actually be the person to settle them down, but Puck will be the person to heal their wounds and to make sure that they're doing okay. Guys, I'm just thinking realistically. The reason why I've decided this balance was obviously because I would love to be entertained by these people, but we've gotta make sure we've got someone who's a medic and um, that's Puck. That is gonna be it for this video today, book lovers. Let me know down in the comments if you haven't, of course, made a video at all. What character from my list would you want to quarantine with? Or maybe a character who I should have thought of that I should have quarantined with. Let me know. Also, I'm so excited to see what you guys have got in store for your videos. So please do not forget to share your videos in the Goodreads group so that I can check them out. Or share them on Twitter and mention me so that I can retweet them and share them with everyone else. I'm really excited to see what everybody's quarantine fictional houses will look like. But also, I will be really excited to see what you guys' reasoning behind those characters will be. So please send those to me. I'm really excited about that. And also don't forget, if you want to join in on the 7 on Sunday fun, don't forget to join the Goodreads Page. It's gonna be a fun time. I'm honestly really excited to see what comes next from this group Also, if you want to purchase any of the books that I mentioned in this video today All the book depository purchase links will be down in the description so you can check them out You can purchase them and you can help me out by doing so <coughs> Please Purchase chosen ones and I also have social medias. I'm at gswizzle books on Twitter and Instagram and I'm also at goodreads That's www.goodreads.com slash gswizzle. I love you book lovers and I will see you later Peace Mm -hmm. Why did I wear half when I flipped it in a double?